YouTube, YouTube! Today, I have a massive Goodwill bins haul. I've been sitting on this for a month now. I've just been waiting to film. Most of this stuff will be available on my Depop. Here it is right here, creepy underscore reality. But some of this stuff I already know that I'm keeping for myself because I've been using it for the past month. I have the most Sanrio stuff that I've ever found at the bins before. I'm so excited. So first, we're just gonna go ahead into the miscellaneous accessories, home goods, and then we'll go into the clothing later and I'll be doing a try on with the clothing that I'm debating keeping. So let's get into it. First item, I have this denim visor. It has Velcro on the back so it's adjustable. It's vintage. To be honest, I don't know why I picked this up. <laughs> I just love denim hats. I already have like two denim hats, but I just don't think I'm a visor girly, so that will be in my Depop. Next item, and all of this stuff has been cleaned and put through the wash. I have this orange denim tote bag, and it has this crossbody strap. I love this so much. I just have too many totes at this point, and it's from The Gap, as you can see right there. It's perfect size, and there are some pockets in there too, so you could use this as like an everyday bag. You could use it as a purse. That's really cute. I love this color orange. Next item. I am for sure keeping this. It's this corduroy tote. I've been keeping all my crochet in here for the past month or so I've had this. But the reason I love this so much is just because it's so nostalgic for me. I definitely had bags like this when I was a kid. There's a zipper on the inside and this is from the brand Arizona. And I just realized there's a name on the inside. <laughs> Nadia S, I have your bag. There are some smaller pockets right there. But this just reminds me of all the stuff I would buy at like Aeropostale when I was younger in middle school. Next item is this vintage Rugrats binder. It has Spot, I think the dog's name is, and it has Tommy. And then basically the same on the back. And it's Velcro, brand new, and there's a spot to put your name. It says it's from the year 2000. Next item, I have this denim crossbody bag. This is like, what do you call it? A duffel style? Kind of big, but this is definitely vintage from the 80s. The only problem with it is that the leather straps right here are kind of beat up. This one's half gone, but that's the only thing wrong with it. And if you saw my first Google outlet haul, I also got a denim bag then, and I already have too many denim bags in my own collection. So this will be for sale. That's what it looks like. Okay, next tote, Real Tree Camo. I've been loving anything camo, even Real Tree Camo, for the past couple years. There's a zipper on the inside, and this one is zippered, so it can keep all your stuff nice and safe. Here's what it looks like on my shoulder. Next item. This is so cute. So I just have this cargo style crossbody bag. Here's what it looks like. The inside is teal. That's like totally a Y2K thing. Oh, okay, this one's Gap too. But yeah, under here is just one giant pocket. Perfect staple bag. Next. Holy Grail Jansport backpack. It's a bunch of skulls and crossbones and hearts. This is so like emo scene. This is so adorable and it's just like the normal size. And again, there's a name on the inside. Why do people write their names on the inside of bags? Brooke, I have your bag. I'm not gonna show the last name, but if you buy this bag, you'll know who owned it first. Super cute. I'm actually debating keeping this one too because Jan Sports are just perfect for travel. They can be used as carry-on bags. So debating this one. Okay, let's do the shoes next. First, I have these Skecher Delights with Sherpa on the inside. These are like clogs. Memory foam inside. These are so cute. Women's size 8. These were just weird enough for me to pick up because if they were just the black Skechers, I wouldn't have gotten them. But since they're fur lined and clogs and sneakers all at the same time, I'm like, okay, I can get behind these. Last pair of shoes. Another pair of Skechers Delights. Except these are just like the white catchers. Oh, there's still a sticker on the bottom. Goodwill was trying to get $13 for these, but I think Goodwill bins probably paid 
a lot less than that. These are women's size 7, and again on the inside there's memory foam. I literally just watched a video saying that these are out of style, the like mom shoes. I don't think so. I still have Steve Madden shoes that are white dad shoes like these and I wear them every week still so we gotta stop the dad shoe hate because i still think they're cute next i have this giant trash bag full of stuff everything in here is clean and stuff i have totally forgotten what's in here though so we're gonna go through this first thing is this hello kitty pouch it's like clear and there's polka dots i'm pretty sure you attach this to your bike like the front and you can keep stuff in it not too sure though i'll be selling this for cheap because i have no idea what it is honestly with this stuff on the back next I'm obsessed with this. This pink plaid wallet. And if you can tell by the smiley face right here, it's a Joe Boxer wallet. Here's what the inside looks like. I'm obsessed with this. This is so awesome. Next, I have this giant corduroy shoulder bag black corduroy. I just love all the pockets on it. It's Lucky Brand. I love that the strap is like a, it's like a belt. Next, I got this Barbie beanie, this pink Barbie beanie, and this is the adult size. It just says Barbie and the back side is plain. So adorable! The tag on the inside says it's from 2014, so it's not vintage or anything. Next, another crossbody bag. Here's this crossbody. I just love the lace-up detail, and this is actual leather suede. Oh, and it's American Eagle. And this front part is a pocket, and there's another pocket on the inside. This would be a good neutral in anyone's closet, I feel like. Um, this bucket hat. It has a patch that's supposed to go on the front. Oh, yep, yeah, it's right here. Yang yang patch it's like velcro removable i don't know why you would want to remove it unless you had other ones that could switch out but uh i put this through the wash and it got all wrinkled up that was my bad this was looking perfect before it went through the wash and now it looks all wrinkly it probably shrunk because it's 100 percent cotton so I'll be selling this for like super cheap, like a dollar, anyone's interested. There is that. Oh, I cannot believe I found this! The dog from McDonald's. And this is the United States version. But on my Depop, I have a bunch of them from Japan. McDonald's 2005! Looks like a beagle, maybe. Next, I have this giant bag of sparkly stars. I guess I can open the bag now. But yeah, it's just a bunch of these like pink plastic and there's orange and green too. Plastic glittery stars. Oh, I think you're supposed to stack them or something. I have no idea what these are. I just thought they were really cute and I can turn them into something. They like lock in and stack together. If anyone knows what these are, let me know in the comments, please. Next! For Christmas time, it's just a stocking that's covered in sequins and it has feathers, bright pink, and it says flirt, super cute, and the back is just plain velvet. Go with this. Y'all, I got so many crossbodies. I have this one that has another like belt drap situation. This one's green. It has like this chevron print. Button closure. Old Navy brand. Here's the inside. Definitely gives Y2K vibes. And I think this one is 100% wool. 60% wool. I know my fiber contents, guys. Put me to the test. I'll know. And I love this O-ring right here too. Next, I have this fuzzy Y2K scarf. It's a skinny scarf. Ooh! I just love all the bumps and lumps in here. It's a very interesting texture. Ooh, I might keep this. This is looking cute. Next, I got these fuzzy socks. They're just purple polka dot. And I got these because, yeah, you can see they're still attached with the plastic thing. I did wash these though. They were brand new packaging. And I had these exact same socks when I was a kid. They're from Exhilaration. I just picked them up again because you can never have too many socks. So I'm just keeping those. And another pair of socks I'm keeping. I'm so excited about these! I can't believe I haven't worn these, but they're just yellow and black. What would these be? Like knee high. I love striped socks. I only have a few pairs of them, but these are so cute and I can't wait to wear them and style them. Next! These just came in a giant Ziploc bag. They're a bunch of paper cutters. 
I'll show you one by one what they are, but I just like to use them to cut up extra paper and turn them into confetti and put them in my Depop orders. I got a teddy bear one, the star one, and these feel brand new, like they've never even been used. A bow one, which that one will be really cute. A fish, it looks like an angel fish. Um, my favorite one, the foot. <laughs> Who would ever need a foot cut out? And then the last one is an apple. That one's really cute. What do people use these for? Like scrapbooking? I have no idea. Next! I love this so much. What do you call these dogs? Boxers? It's just the coin pouch. It's like faux leather. Goodwill's trying to get $4.99 for this. Oh, again, this is vintage Target. There's a paper tag that says Target on the inside. So that's very interesting. I can't think of this dog breed right now, but my grandma has one. Let me know in the comments, but that's really cute. Next, we're getting to the bottom of this bag, y'all. I have this Y2K sparkly pink Playboy bill. Let me show you the Playboy. 2005. And as you can see, there's a Playboy bunny right there. And as you can see, it spins and it's all blinged out. It's missing rhinestones and the leather is beat up. You can tell down here. I could just not leave this behind, but I'll be selling it for really Really cheap but come on it's the baby pink playboy bunny belt it's a size small and maybe you could even take this belt buckle off and put it on a different belt but that's just y2k perfection that's like a fidget spinner like why else would they make this spin unless you're just supposed to sit there and spin it all day okay, i think the last thing in here is this rainbow knit hat that i think i'm keeping i'm obsessed with hats oh my gosh do i just pick up all of the old navy Y2K though, it has this rainbow pom-pom on top and these rainbow braids. This fits me so well when I don't have my hair up. So yeah, I'm excited about this. One of the last accessories that I got were these princess themed silly bands. I did not pick these up in the bins, so I'm pretty sure a little kid probably just snuck them in my cart or they fell out of a bag that I picked up because I have no idea where those came from. This last home accessory you guys are going to freak out over. I almost screamed at the bins when I picked it up. I literally had to run across like three bins to pick this up so no one else would get it. This Y2K Hello Kitty comforter. That's right. That's right, y'all. This is clean. I just washed it. I'm 90% sure this is for a full-size bed. This thing is massive. The other side is just pink polka dot. But this is one of my proudest bins finds ever. I love this so much. She's in all different outfits and it just says Hello Kitty all over it too. Definitely Y2K. So now we're gonna get on to the clothing and some of these I've already been wearing for a month. Some of these I need to try on to see if I want to keep them. First item is this Y2K vintage fuzzy mohair tank top. It's like an off-white cream color and it has these blue floral beads right there. It's from Exhilaration. Wait, no, it's not mohair. It's Angora rabbit fur, which I am so surprised about because I guess I didn't realize that in the 90s, more places had rabbit fur. I guess Target wasn't fast fashion back in the 90s when this was made, but this is like so soft. Yeah, it's just not my size. It's size medium. There's that one. Okay, this item, it's this purple and orange plaid dress, and it's from Urban Outfitters. Size extra small. Look at this stretch though. I wore this for my birthday dinner on my birthday, and it fits more like a large, which is insane. I guess maybe that's just how it's supposed to fit. It's like massive, feels like a tent. So I don't know if I'll be keeping this because I already wore it and have pictures in it, but I did feel really cute in it. So I feel like maybe I'll just have this in my closet for a while until I decide. Okay, and here's the Urban Outfitters dress. Maybe I could layer it with like a collared shirt or something. This is a very springy dress. Next item, another dress, another purple dress, is this Victoria's Secret slip dress. It has Victoria's Secret pink label, so you know it's from the early 2000s. Size medium. I love this bow right here on the strap. And there's like a sexy little slit right there at the bottom, so it will show your leg. Really cute. Next! 
the first Hello Kitty Sanrio shirt clothing item that I have ever found at the bins. It's this Hello Kitty white t-shirt and it has her sister Mimi on it. So I have medium and that's really cute. Her twin, Mimi, I'm pretty sure her name is. Then I have this very poor brown grungy tank top. I feel like everyone has been into these Y2K lacy tank tops recently and this is actually from Exhilaration. Size large, lace at the bottom too. I steamed this and it still has all these wrinkles in it. So I feel like that's just part of the like fabric and part of the design. Like makes it more grungy I guess. The straps are adjustable and the straps feel really nice. Next, this t-shirt I'm obsessed with. Lucky Charms. What does it say? Yeah, it just says Lucky Charms. And it has a four leaf clover right there. It's this mossy green color. It's definitely vintage. Size medium on a 707 tag. I have a four leaf clover tattoo so that makes me want to keep this but this just doesn't look great right on me. Oh there's a date on this. 2006 is when this is from. Next this camo t-shirt. It's from Sacred Tattoo. Tattoo Studio merch size large. Any camo t-shirts I'm here for. Next is this Sailor Moon crop top. This one's for the weebs out there watching. It is cropped but on me it kind of fits like a normal t-shirt like oversized though i would say it extra large or maybe even 2x but that graphic's really cute and it's like a pink and purple tie-dye there's that one i have these surfer looking capri pants they hit me like just below the knees and it has the drawstring. These are vintage, vital with a paper tag, size small. They give me surfer skater vibes, but they are women's size small. Next item is this green striped sweater, or I guess just a long sleeve shirt. Brand is Sonoma, size large. I love the green stripes. It could fit someone oversized. Really cute. This item gives me such 2012 Tumblr vibes. It's a skater dress and it has a motorcycle on the front. It doesn't get much Tumblr than this. And then the brand is French Connection, size zero, so it fits like a size small. I used to wear dresses like this all the time, but I know the kids nowadays are getting back into that, so I wanna make that available for someone. This item, oh my gosh, I didn't realize how slashed it was. Harley Davidson t-shirt. It's brown, but it's like very distressed. There's distressing around the neck. That's why I picked it up though, was because how distressed it is. On the back, there's even some holes. Size extra large, women's extra large. I normally do not pick up Harley Davidson, but this one just intrigued me. This one, I'm gonna have to put in the try on and see if I want it. It's just this gray t-shirt. There are stains on it too already so I would have to discount it a lot. It just says insane tea. There's no tags or anything but I feel like it's definitely vintage. And then the back says I earned it which fair enough. There's like a stain even like right here so I'm just gonna try it on and see how it looks. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one but it is really cute and funny. Next t-shirt, I still have so many clothes to go through. Is this Disney t-shirt? Disney Dreams Florida. So this is from Disney World in Florida. And this is gonna fit like a women's small. This is definitely a children's shirt. My hot take on women wearing children's clothing, children's t-shirts especially, because on social media, people have been going crazy in the past couple years, viewing hate against women wearing children's clothes that they find at the thrift store. My hot take is I'm gonna wear children's clothing no matter if you like it or not because it fits me better. It fits me better than women's clothing most of the time. I'm wearing a child's shirt right now. Most of my wardrobe is children's t-shirts just because they fit me better than women's. So can we stop that? hate. People say that, oh, all these Depop girlies go into the thrift store and buy all the children's clothing. There's no clothing left for the children. Do you know how many child's t-shirts go into the landfill every day? More than you can count. So let's just stop the hate of women wearing children's clothing. Let women wear whatever they want, please. That's the end of my rant.
Next clothing item, I have this Crush t-shirt. I love Crush. I have no idea what flavor this would be. Maybe like orange, maybe pineapple Crush. But it's like Dia de los Muertos. It has skulls and it has some Spanish. And it's a size medium. This item, it's a tie-dye crop top. It's from the brand Rehab Lab. I don't like that tag. I've never heard of it before, but Rehab Lab just sounds gross. Size medium. But I do love the tie-dye. And it has like yellow collar which I thought was really cool. There's that one. Here's this. Grey crew neck. It scores light. Beer. And the front just says chill. Extra large. Men's extra large. I need to stop buying alcohol merchandise though because it doesn't sell on my Depop but I just keep picking it up unless I'm planning on keeping it which I might keep this one. Who knows. Next I have this Care Bear onesie. This is grumpy. It has a little storm cloud on the front and there's a little Care Bears butt patch. It's a size extra large. Official Care Bears. This thing is so freaking cozy. It feels like a giant blanket. I love that thing. But I already have a onesie. I have Scooby Doo onesie so I don't really need this one. Now this dress. I'm obsessed with blue and green plaid and this dress. It's like a mini dress. This dress is straight out of my like dreams. It's vintage from Faded Glory. And this one has been altered because the size tag says women's extra large. This ain't no extra large. When I tried this on, this fit me perfectly. The only thing is it's like ripping because someone obviously altered this to fit themselves and they didn't do the best selling job, but they did a great job fitting it to my body. There's a zip down the back. So this might be in a video of upcycling it or something but I think I'm definitely keeping that. Here's the blue and green dress. I'm literally obsessed with this and how it fits me so perfectly. Another item that I'm definitely keeping is this oversized gray hoodie. It's the University of Milwaukee. I just love any hoodie with like a giant graphic on the front. I've been looking for one and this one fits me pretty well. There's no brand tag or anything, but it's really good quality. Here's this oversized graphic hoodie. This is super cozy. Definitely keeping this. And this item I am 1000% keeping. I've been wearing this all month. Is this jacket? I'll just put it on right now. It's vintage, definitely from the 80s. Size 2X. Brand is Kari Zima. It says it was made in Egypt. It looks like a hoodie, but it feels like a jacket. Like it's lined and it's really heavy. And as I just said with that dress, I love like blue and green plaid. So this is just perfect for the fall and winter. I've been wearing it ever since I got this. And I love this pocket right here. I've been literally looking for an item like this because one of my fellow youtubers expired threads has a jacket very similar to this I found this one and this one's like perfect for me this will not be leaving my wardrobe anytime soon next item I have this purple corduroy button-up shirt jacket you can wear it as a jacket for sure men's size extra large Cherokee I love this color purple it's like very grapey vintage Everyone loves vintage corduroy, especially when it's a funky color. Next item, another child's top, but look, this will fit me perfectly. Old Navy again. I don't know why on this trip I just picked up all of the Old Navy. It has 72 on it and there's a dolphin bubblegum pink, or maybe it's a women's size because it says size small. Yeah, this isn't kids, this is women's. Next item, I have such trouble finding hoodies at the bins that I like, but this time I found so many. I found this chaps gray zip up hoodie, chaps denim, definitely vintage. It's 2XL men's. And again, as I said, I love any hoodies with like graphic going across. And these pockets are weird too. There are thumb holes because someone cut them into the hoodie. Next hoodie item is this, what would you call this? Like baseball letterman style hoodie. Again, this one is vintage from the band Rock. Men's size medium. 
I feel like some Pinterest girly would love this. There's that. I have another gray hoodie. Another vintage gray hoodie. Again, another men's size medium. You can tell by the inside it looks so soft. Oversized. This one is nice and thick and good quality. This t-shirt, I'm obsessed with it because my brother used to wear stuff like this when we were in grade school. It says, I ate his homework. It's like a dog crazy looking dog with homework in its mouth. No brand. You used to be able to get stuff like this from Walmart. So it's like a kid size medium. So it would fit women's size small. There's that. I have these Y2K sweatpants. And it just says Wildcats down the side. And these go to like my calf. Yeah, I'm gonna try these on because I might want to keep these. Okay, here are the Wildcat sweatpants. Next, I have this camo jacket, and this is official military. It's a men's size small, that's what the tag says. And this was in a whole pile full of other military clothing, so I'm assuming they just got rid of it everything they had. This item was just hilarious. It's this vintage velvet bodysuit. It's leopard print. I'm obsessed with this fabric. Tell me why I thought this would fit me. And you'll see that there's like a difference between where the shoulders are. Yeah, so this is clearly a kid size because the torso is just way too small. I put this on and it fit my legs and it fit my arms, but the torso was just too small. So I feel like I should do a little thrift flip on this and do a little DIY and turn this into something else because I don't sell kids clothes. It didn't have a size in it, so that's probably why I felt like this would fit me. <laughs> but it is stretchy and I've been dreaming of having a bodysuit like this that would fit me for so long. Next, I have this bustier. Top red and it has button closures. This is vintage from the 80s. Brand is Jazzy, size large. And this totally reminds me of Selena. This would not fit me, but it's pretty cute. There's boning, I guess. The next item is this pink and black cropped hoodie. Zip up, has pink drawstrings, and it has a bent butterfly on the back, and it has butterflies on both sleeves. This is really cute in like an e-girl style. The brand is Orange Kiss, size large. Really cute. Reminds me of like K-pop or something. Next, I have these cargo denim shorts. They're dark wash denim from early 2000s. Brand is So, and they're size 14. I'll have to get waist measurement, but they look really small. It's so maybe like a 24 inch waist. Next, I got Paul Frank, y'all. Paul Frank is almost impossible to find at the bins, so I'm so happy I found these. These are a little like long shorts. Women's size medium, and they are kind of pilling. So I'll just sell these for cheaper than I would normally because they are a little pilly. But what can you expect for a 20 year old pair of pajama pants? Next item is this pink wife beater with a bunch of polka dots. It's from the children's place, size medium, but it fits like a women's small. It fits me perfectly. I already tried this on because I was curious. That one's really cute. Next item is this really cute camo hoodie. It is a child size large, but it fits like a women's small. So it fits really tight and cute. And it does have thumb holes, but the arms fit me like right there. So my thumb can't go through it, but it's Still a really cute hoodie. Next item are these velour tracksuit pants, but these are VCBG. Those are rhinestones all blinged out. I love the back pockets. They're like cargo style pockets. I would say that these are a size small. And there's a drawstring so you can adjust the size. Straight leg. I love those. Kind of like a juicy style. Next item. This is kind of boring. But I just got this brown crew neck sweater. It's the brand Goodfellow. Men's size extra large. Chocolate brown color. Good basic for anyone. Next. These pants. They worn out a few times but I've decided that they're too big for me so I will be selling them. Again another old navy piece loose cargo. 28 waist 30 inseam and the inside is like camo. Next y'all tell me why I thought this would fit me. <sighs> yeah 
I was having issues this day. It's a Hello Kitty Y2K hoodie. Child size six. It has this patch. It's like a glittery patch on the front. So I think I'll just be putting this on Mercari and see if any parents want to buy this for their kid. Next, this hoodie I will be keeping because I've already worn this a few times and I love it. It's just gray striped fitted hoodie. I think this is, yeah, this is Lucky Brand, size women's small. Literally for past year, I've been looking at this Brandy Melville hoodie that looks very similar. I'll put the photo right here of what it is. So I've had my eye on a striped hoodie exactly like this one for a year, and I finally found one. And I love Lucky Brand just as much as I like Brandy Melville, so that works out. Okay, here's the Lucky Brand gray striped hoodie. I'm obsessed with this. Next are these light wash denim shorts. These are vintage from the 80s, no boundaries. Just look at that tag. And they're size four, women's size four. They're high-waisted. And their size fours back in the 80s were a lot smaller. So this is just like two sizes too small for me. I really wish I could keep these because these are so cute. And I guess this is the last item for the entire bins haul. I have this queen hoodie. It has the graphic right there on the front and it just says forever queen on the sleeves. It does have some pilling, but you know, you can remove pilling. I just don't have a depiller. It's not vintage or anything, sadly. This is the end of my Google bins haul. Thank you for sticking around if you did. Again, if you're interested in buying anything from me that you saw in this video, my Depop is is creepy underscore reality please comment like and subscribe all my love to you bye bye